Mayong bundak sa tanan. Happy Sunday. Today is the third Sunday of July and the Lord is good. Buhi ta mga igsoon. Gi proteksyonan ta si Kinoo. O matinud anon siya nga Dios. Last Sunday we we heard a, a powerful message from Pastor Stanley Pilapil. Uh, the character or the core of being a true disciple. And it was a powerful sermon. And I just like to reiterate and reemphasize that being a disciple of Christ is is a, a life of a disciple of Christ. It takes courage to stand up. Despite of the crisis, we are, because we are called, kita wag ta sigino, aron magpakita sa iyang kahayag. Niya kabuntagon. Before I'm going to share to you the word of God, let us know if you are watching this live uh, video for our online church by uh, taking a picture with your family watching the live video. Of course, you're willing. Uh, Nagsulob mo og block as what we have announced last. Sunday and bisit kids nga mapili anamo nga uh, nindot nga picture will receive is something from us within this week. So we are encouraged and we're so happy of the outcome of our fourth year anniversary. It was our first time to celebrate online. Yet we managed to communicate and share to you what the Lord has done. In our lives. If you have your Bible, would you please stand up with me as we read the scriptures for us this morning? It's found in Daniel chapter 6, verse 10. In IV version says, Now, when Daniel learned that the decree had been published, he went home to his to his ups, upstairs room where the windows opened toward Jerusalem. Three times a day, he got down on his knee and prayed, giving thanks to his God just as he had done before. Then these men went as a group and found Daniel praying and asking God for help. So they went to the king and spoke to him about his royal decree and says, Did you not publish a decree that during the next 30 days, anyone who prays to any god or man except you, O king, would be thrown into the lion's den? Then the king answered, The decree stands in accordance with the law of the Medes and Persians, which cannot be repealed. Then they said to the king, Daniel, who is one of the exiles from Judah, pays no attention to you, O king, or to the decree you put in, the writ in, the, in writ writing. He still prays three times a day. Then the king heard this. He was greatly distressed. He was determined to rescue Daniel and made every, every effort until sundown to save him. May the Lord bless the reading of his word. Magampo ta. Amahan nga langit nun. Salamat nini nga kabuntagon. Kahigayo na namo nga makapamalandong sa imong minsay. Ako nagampo nini nga kabuntagon. Nga imo kaming tabangan, imo kaming panalipdan, imo kaming Panalanginan. Oh, visit us, Lord, as, as we dearly miss your presence, Lord. We thank you, God, for such an opportunity, God, to grow in the grace of you, O God. And we can serve you the best that we can. Bless our people. Bless our hearts as we receive your word. This we ask. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The title of the sermon that I'm going to share to you this morning is entitled, "On." cover crisis is not desirable crisis and challenges in life are not desirable for us but there are beauty beyond this crisis because it uncovers what's inside 
usok aron kayo sa sa Facebook kanang i-live nila ang mag-unbox sa mga products nga ilang na order online or something they can they can share to the social media but it's very important to know importante kayo na itong mahibawan kung tinuot ang disipulo ni Kristo importante kayo alang sa Diyos o alang ka na itong mga katawahan sa ginoo na mahibawan kung unsa ang sulod sa atong kasing-kasing ingon nga alagad sa ginoo kining pandemic nga atong gisagubang karon nga almost four months na ta or even more than four months if i would if i'm not mistake this pandemic reveals what's inside of us that makes or that 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 can make god be glorified or be offended no event circumstances may come into our lives that God doesn't know. He even allow this. I'm not saying that the, the Lord is the source of this pandemic, no? But I would say this, the Lord allows it to happen. He allow events, circumstances, to happen in our lives in the purpose of revealing what's inside and how can we react to the situations. Again, many times I tell you this, that the actions, we are not responsible of the actions from outside. We are responsible of our response. Ingun nga Kristohano ni ini nga pandemic, wala tay mahimo sa desisyon sa atong guberno o sa pagpadagan. Of course, naa kay mahimo, I would say. Ang imong mahimo nga kung duna kay wa mauyunan, sulati si Mayor Labilia. Ipadala sa Mayor's office and somehow mabasahan niya ang imong sulat or set an appointment if you are frustrated enough. Set an appointment to the mayor. Ing na nga concerned citizen ka, visit the mayor's office and tell him your frustrations and somehow, if you have the solutions, write it down and discuss with him that might help him. Because nobody is an expert in dealing with this pandemic. No one. I'm not telling you to shut your mouth off if you know something, but if you know something, talk to the right authorities or concerned people. Many times this week, I've heard a lot of ranting, venting our emotions on the social media. That's not the way we, we deal the problem. Because the more you vent out your emotions, the more you run in social medias, it reveals who we are. So my question this morning is, how this circumstances uncover us? What are the areas that this circumstances reveals the true character of a disciple of Christ supposed to be? Let me share to you about Daniel. Daniel is one of the captive. Gidala sila dito. Among the captive, gipilian ang mga tao nga nai potential and isa si Daniel nga napilian. Of course, nasayod ta nga giset apart sila. Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego. They are captive. For many years, gikan sila sa Jerusalem nga nag-alagad sa tinuod nga ginoo, na-captive sila sa lain-lain nga nasod. 
But yet, despite of circumstances, they don't lose their faith. Despite of difficulties, they did not defile God. Ilang gipakita na despite sa sirkumstansya, sa kalisot ng ilang giagian, ulipon lamang sila na nagalagad sa hari, pero they manage to tell people, even to the king, that they are set apart. Wala sila ni compromise. Wala po sila nagyaw-yaw. Instead, despite sa ilang kalisod, nag-alagad sila silang panggupirno sa malipayon niya paagi, eh at the same time, ipakita nila ang ilahang pag-alagad sa ilahang buhi nga gino. So my question this morning, how do circumstances uncover us? Number one, it reveals our true true character. Kini nga pandemic, kini nga situations, kung doon na may situations, kung doon na may problema nga maabot sa mga kinabuhi, ang problema gitugutan sa Dios aron mapakita ang tinuod nga kaniya nga naa sulod sa atong kasing-kasing. Sayon kayo pag formulate og kinaiya sa panahon sa kadaugan, sa panahon nga naa sa abundance, sa panahon nga regular imong sweldo, sa panahon nga every 15 and 30 of of the 30th of the month you will receive a payment from your company. Sayon kayo ang karakter, sayon kayo ang pag-worship, sayon kayo ang pagsimba sa kino, sayon kayo ang pag-daig sa imong buhay kadayos, sayon kayo pag testify. But in times of crisis, how's your How's your how's your relationship to God? How's your passion to God? Gisulti gali nila. Kung wala nimo ang kasing-kasing sa Dios, kung dili kung wala nimo na experience ang kasing-kasing or ang pagkaginoo sa Ginoo, dili ka kahibaw kung kinsa pud ang iyang gihigugma. It reveals our true character. In, ki, kini nga pandemic, kini nga crisis, nga atong giatubang sa atong kinabuhi, magpakita o magpadayag sa atong kinaiya. Sayon kay ma-fake ang, ang character. You just go to church early in the morning as if Christian. Pero makita ang tinod niya kinaiya sa panahon sa kalisdanan. Verse 10. Now when they you learn that the decrees has been published. He, here's the reaction of Daniel. Gibawalan na silang magsimba sa kino. 30 days na ha? Gibawalan sila. Tuhod kinaghimo og balaod ang ilang hari nga dili sila magsimba og laing kino sa train taragadlaw. So diyang nakaibaw si Daniel chapter 10 on a verse 10. Right away, he went home to his upstairs room where the windows opened towards Jerusalem. Check that out. That's a, a passion for God. That's a passion for, for worship. Ang desire nga makasimba si Gino. Dili man sila makaadto, pero ilang giabli ang ilang bintana nga nag-atubang sa Jerusalem tuod kang ilang pangandoy nga masinati unta nila ang ginoo nga ilang kauban didto sa Jerusalem. What he did, three times a day, he got up, he got down on his knees and prayed and giving thanks to his God just as he had done before. Mauting aling dili ka maka-worship. Mauting aling dili ka maka-ablay sa imong window. Mauting aling dili nimo gipangita ang presensya sa Ginoo kay you have not yet experienced before. Pero si Daniel na set niya ang iyang passion for God. Na set niya ang iyang pagbati sa Ginoo. Na set niya ang iyang paghigugma sa Ginoo. Way way back. Sa dihang didto pa sira sa Jerusalem. Ang ibo bang kasing-kasing na set na sa dehang wala pa ang pandemic? Way, way back. Wala pa ang pandemic. Munang kung, kung, kung na set ni mo yung kasing-kasing karon. oh, you long, you open your window, you, you open your window and look at where the Boy Scout camp is. And you long for the presence of God. That's the right 
passion. That's the right attitude. Pagli kurban, ang tanang tao na mingaw, gi-announce na yun after sa ECQ ni, ni Labilia na gi-lift na ang li kurban. Hey, makita, gini mong mga tao, na nagan pa doon sa mall, pag ulis, napay, babay, ako nakita, nagdala ko sa duha ka karton nga, Imperador Light, ang usa nagdag kulapo, ang usa they are so passionate enough for their vices. What about you, church? What about you, church? How's your passion for God today? Did you still open your window like like Daniel who longed for the presence of God in Jerusalem? How's your character today? Is your character revealing Christ inside of you? Kumusta mga igsoon? Nga bisan gani sa atong live streaming makita na ko pipilara ka mga tao ni view sa atong church. Siyempre, doon ay rason. Muna naka-appeal ko sa webinar ni Ingon dito si Pastor Oriel Balano. Only mature Christian will produce fruit and only mature Christian will serve God and His people. Ang mga immature, daghag rason. Ipakpak imong kamot kung ikaw na. Hallelujah! Unsa may mong rason? Wala ay Lord. Wala. Friends, I tell you, daghan kong nakita na kusog ka mong musirog yagayaga kaysa post niya verse sa ato ang page. Mas nali pa mo makaposog mga tinunto kaysa mga butang na iya sa ginoo. Come on! Is that the passion of God? Or is that the passion for God? I challenge you. I challenge you that we need to set our hearts before the Lord because this pandemic, it reveals who you are, who's inside of your heart. Number two, how these circumstances uncover us. Number one, it reveals our character, true character being a Christian. Number two, it reveals our passion for God. Not just character, but our passion. It's part of our core, core values. Passion for God. Compassion for people. No wonder dili ta concern sa lost. No wonder dili ta concern sa mga tao na wala pa makasinati sa gino. Tood kay wala pa makadawat sa kasing-kasing gib ni Jesus. Sa relationship, if you know your husband, well, you know what's his interest. If you know your husband's well, you know what's his preference. If you know your wife well, you know what's her type. And you don't buy things that won't make her happy. Nga nung nahitabo na, tuhod kay nag-usa mo panimalay, nag-usa mo kasing-kasing, nakabalo kasi ang gusto, o nakabalo ka sa unsay ang gusto, o sa dili niya gusto. Ingon nga alagad sa Diyos, na sinati na bagod ni mo ang mong kasing-kasing, or na sinati na bagod ni mo ang kasing-kasing ni Jesus, unsa manggoy pinitik sa kasing-kasing ni Jesus. Ang pinitik bagod sa kasing-kasing ni Jesus, mao ang imong trabaho, Ang pinitik bagyot sa kasing-kasing ni Jesus mo ang imong pagkaon. Ang pinitik bagyot sa kasing-kasing ni Jesus mo ang pagtanaw sa imong pangbayan sa kurinti. Ang pinitik bagyot sa kasing-kasing ni Jesus mo ang pagtanaw sa imo ang load sa imong cellphone. Ang pinitik bagyot sa kasing-kasing ni Jesus mo ang baguhan ka kanunay o gadgets. Oh, I tell you not. Because ang pinitik sa kasing-kasing ni Jesus mo ang makatawhan nga mo balik sa iyang sabakan kun imong buhaton ang business ni Lord si Lord mo'y mo atiman kanimo No wonder nag kalisod ta sa sitwasyon nga naman tuod kay ang minor atong gi major ang major atong gi minor Prioritize God 
and he will prioritize you. Unaha si Lord. Ug atiman nun kaniya. Pero unaha pag atiman imong kaugalingon. Well, na aman sa Pero at the end of the day, you are not contented of what you have. Because the only thing that can satisfy our desire is God. How's your relationship to God? How's your passion to God? Takang kita ng mahimu karong yung pandemic. Well, in fact, nitanaw niyo sa ito ang live na ay mga tao diha nga wala pa kahayo makaila sa ginoo. Pwede na niyo mong i-PM. Pwede na niyo mong i-follow up. Pwede na niyo siyang istoryahon. Aron mak dugangan ang ilang relasyon o kaalam diha sa ginoo. Uncover. This pandemic, I believe, it will uncover what's inside of us. How this pandemic or circumstances helps to reveal what's inside of us. Number one, this pandemic, this crisis like Daniel experience, it reveals the true character. Ang kinaiya ni Daniel. Well, sa pagkapili niya sa hari, wala siya nag-alagad sa hari na nagdagyaw-yaw. But instead, nag-alagad siya sa hari sa kinasingkasing gayon. And at the same time, nag-alagad siya sa ginoo sa kinasingkasing gayon. There's no conflict between work and serving God. Daniel is a perfect example of a worker who served his masters or bosses very well and served God very well. Pwede lagi di ay. Pwede lagi di ay. Number two, it reveals our passion to God. Kumusta ang imuang pagbati karoon si Ginoo? Oh, sad. Naghan karoon mga church nga na-close yun. Wala na lang gihimo tungod kay ilang giuyunan nga ang pandemic maka-close sa church. The close or the church is not close. It's only the building. Church can function even this pandemic. We don't need to gather physically. But being a church, we need to serve God in whatever capacity we have. Number three, how this pandemic uncovers or helps us or reveal what's inside of us. Number three, this pandemic is a validation of our ministry. It validates. Kaya ba mo kung saan validates? Nagpamatuhod. Kabalo ba mo nga nindot kayo ang atong mga pang, pagpangalagad sa kino kung doon ay approval ni Lord sa atong kinabuhi? Ati Ivy's miracle is a validation that God is with us. Ang atong pagpangalagad sa kinu, di lang ni yaga-yaga, di lang ni hilak-hilak, di lang ni pangwarta, kundi li, ang Diyos kuyog ka na to, ang Diyos ka nag-ayo ni Ati IV Mihor, ang Diyos ka nagtakbo silang Panginanglan, ang Diyos ka nagtabang kanila, ang Diyos ka naghimo o milagro, kauban na to, siya mo'y nag-approba, siya mo'y nag-validate sa atong gibuhat, nga ng atong gibuhat, kabubut o niya. Buhat na sa Diyos. Trabaho na sa Diyos. Nga nag sa ato ang kinabuhi nga. Hey, Victorious Life Church, you're doing good. That's why my hand is with you. Dili na to masulti nga ang Diyos muayo kung walay balatian. Wa tanagampo nga muabot ang balatian, pero ni abot ang balatian aron pakaulawan sa Dios ang yawa nga nagmukna niini. Ug kanto mo exactly gihimo sa Ginoo sa kinabuhi ni Ate Ivy. Kining atong gibuhat, dili lang ni yaga-yaga lang. Dili lang ni for a, for a season. Dili lang ni seasonal nga ministry. Kaya kung pwede palang mo quit 
ni kuit na ko pero dili ko makakuit tuod kay ang gugma sa Dios grabe ka abundansya and it helps us to motivate serving God despite of difficulty not because we are required we do this because we are in love ang passion ga urus ang gugma ga ga bukal-bukal you cannot afford to stop because God has been so faithful and has been so generous to us. It validates. Kini nga krisis, nag-validate na yun, nag-aapruba, nag-apamatuod nga ang kamot sa Diyos. Ana ah, kanato. Tanawag ko Chapter 3, verse 16. Daniel chapter 3, verse 16. Friends of Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego, replied to the king, O Nebuchadnezzar king, we do not need to defend ourselves before you in this matter. Eh, dyan nga, mal nga hari, ang ilang gisulti, mahitungod ka na mo, nga nagsimba mi sa ginog, wala mi musimba ni mo, di na may kinahang lang muraso ni ini. Dili may pareha ni Madam Bibs nga pangutan noon lang daghan kay Grason. Di may kinaang lang mo rason ini. Ang gisulti sa ng tao nga wala mi musimba sa imong estatua o nagsimba mi sa imong buhi nga Diyos, inood. We don't need to defend ourselves before you in this matter. Verse 17, If we are thrown into a blazing furnace, the God we serve is able to save. The God that we serve is able to save us from it and he will rescue us from your hand, O king. But even, verse 18, gini, but even if he does not, look at this, but even if he, the God, does not save us verse 18 we want you to know king that we will not serve your gods or worship in image of gold that you have set up verse 19 then Nebuchadnezzar was furious with Shadrach Meshach and Abednego and his attitude towards them changed and he ordered them he ordered the furnace heated seven times hotter than the usual and commanded some of the strongest soldiers in his army to tie Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego and throw them into the blazing furnace. Mga iso-onsultihan ko kamo. Kini nga virus, dili ta mamatay ni ini. Luwasun ta sa Diyos. ang atong Dios makahimo pagprotekta ka nato ang tibok natong pamilya protektahan sa Dios tagbuon sa Dios ang tanan nato panginahanglan dili ta kinahanglan magyawyaw sa Facebook or sa bisan asa nga dapit tungod kay ang Dios nga imong gihalagad mao ring hapong Dios nga mo tagbo sa imong panginahanglan gibuhi gali ka sa Dios nga katong single pa ka unya pertin yung lisura karon pa ka nga minyo naka og duna na kay anak Tagbuon ka sa Diyos. Sangkapan ka sa Diyos. Nga di ka kinahanglang mangdamay sa pagbati sa uban. Kini nga virus again, dili makatandog ka natong mga kristuhanon. Pero kung ugaling, ingon si Shadrach, Mishak, Abednego, kung ugaling man, dili kuluwason sa ginoo ni ining pandemic dili po ni mo hinungdan nga musimba kog laing ginoo og biya anak ko siya amen ba amen ba nga kuno galing man dili ka tagbuon sa dios dili ka mobiya sa iyang gugma tuod kang imong paghigugma sa dios labaw kaysa pagkaon nga imong madawat kada adlaw 
Murang tinuod ang jingo ni Joshua. Pagpili. Karong hadlawa. Tagahan ta mo kay gayunan sa pagpili alang sa inyong kaugalingon. Mag-alagad ka ba sa Diyos nga nagtagbo sa inyong panginanglan sa dugang panahon? O mag-alagad ka sa laing Diyos nga gitugyan? O nga gi imbitar sa laing mga tao? Pero alang ka na ako, ang akong panimalay, mag-alagad kami sa gino. And as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. We will not just serve the Lord with 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 reservations but we will serve the Lord with all of our hearts with all of our mind with all my strength we will serve the Lord among buhaton ang among mahimo ingon pa ni Joshua sa tibok namong kinabuhi ma-advance lang ang kingdom ni Lord what about you this morning what about you this morning Kuntinto na ba ka ni anang imong gibati karon? Kuntinto na ba ka nga wala kay gibuhat sa kingdom ni Lord? Imo na ba kayong gitugutan ang pandemic makaparalyze sa imong pagkatinuod nya disipulo? What about you, cell group leaders? Imo na ba lang nahigugma na ba lang ka sa imong sitwasyon karon? What about you leaders, Victorious Life Church leaders, who are trained enough to do the task? Unsa pa man gyud mo ang gipabot? Or ningon kasi mong kaugalingon, ako lang sa ning i-enjoy ang pandemic. Tud kay mao ni ang perfect excuse nga dili ko makahimo sa dapat nakong buhaton. If that's the case, it uncovers what you have inside. We cannot change others if we ourselves are not changed inside. If you want to change the whole world, it must be start in the inside. Kung pananglitan nakaplagan ni mo, or nakaplagan nato ang nga itong kasing-kasing medyo na lingla medyo na wala sa focus tungod ni hindi nga pandemya may kayo niyang nindot niya reminders nga ang tinuon niya disipulo willing mo pasan sa iyang cross sumala sa wali ni Pastor Stanley o willing mo sakripisyo alang sa bulaton sa Diyos tungod kay niining pagi ha mapakita nato sa atong kasing-kasing o sa atong kinabuhi nga tinuod tang ipang tawag sa Ginoo. Dunay bonus. The bonus is if we are in trouble. If we are facing circumstances, that's a perfect avenue. That's a perfect opportunity to attract God's help and intervention. Verse 26, chapter 3. Verse 26. Nebuchadnezzar, the one who instruct the strongest army to tide up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and thrown into the furnace of fire is the same king saying, Verse 26, Nebuchadnezzar then approached to the opening of the blazing furnace and shouted, Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego, servants of the Most High God, come out here. So Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego came out of the furnace and such up perfect governors and royal advisors crowded around them and they saw the fire had not harmed their bodies, nor was hair of their heads singled. The rub, the robes were not scorched, and there was no smell of fire on them. Why? Because God rescued them. Umbalikan ni mong 24. Verse 24, chapter 3, 
Then the king Nebuchadnezzar leapt into his feet in amazement and asked his advisors. We rent their three men that were tied up and threw in the fire. They replied, Certainly, O king, they said, Look, tulura ang itambog, gitsa, gisulod. But look, I see four men walking around in the fire, unbound and unharmed, and the fourth looks like a son of the gods. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Kung noa duna ka sa kalisod, kung panahon nga, perti na ginlisura sa imong kinabuhi, that's a perfect opportunity. That's a perfect avenue that the Lord that we serve, that the God that we serve, will come down and rescue us. Ngini nga kabuntagon. Ang ato bang kasing-kasing sakto o ginchun kanunay sa gino? Kung kini nga pandemya, nagtang-tang sa mga tabun sa atong kasing-kasing, unsay iyang nakita. Kung nakaplagan sa Diyos nga dunay mga butang na nagdalaghugaw sa atong kasing-kasing, ako mong gimbitar na dulo na to ang presensya sa Diyos o mangayo tagpasaylo ina Lord, pasaylo ami. Ginoo, pasaylo ami. Delayed obedience, Lord, still disobedient. Gino, pasaylo ami. Pasaylo ami, gino. Ugikan ka nung adlawa. Buhato na mo ang imong kabubuton regardless of what's happening around. Let us pray. Our gracious and heavenly Father, we thank you for your word this morning. We thank you for reminding us, O God, that our love must be centered to you. That our character, character, Lord, must be a character of a true disciple who represent Christ in whatever seasons in our lives. Whether we are in victory nor we are in the challenge or challenges, God, we will remain faithful to you and we will stand on our ground and that whatever circumstances may come we will hold on to your promises and we will advance your kingdom as you expected being a disciple bless the family that we have bless the church that we have bless every individual Lord especially those who are in need continue to move and provide their needs, perform a miracle. We thank you for healing at the ivy. And because of that, Lord, we want to give you glory, praises, and honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Mayong buntag ang Diyos mga panalangin ka natong tanan.